Today on X, formerly known as Twitter, the family of former football star and actor O.J. Simpson told the public about his death, saying that he died of prostate cancer. It was back in May of last year. Simpson posted this video on X saying he had cancer and was undergoing chemotherapy. He didn't specify what kind of cancer he was battling, but just this past February, sources revealed it was prostate cancer. Here with us now is Dr. Scott Ackerman. He's medical director of the Ackerman Cancer Center here in Jacksonville. Thanks for joining us to Thank talk you. about this. There are so many unknowns with OJ, you know, his cancer. We don't know how long he had it before he told the public, but we know early detection is the key. So how do you spot it early? It's, it's difficult to spot prostate cancer early because the signs and symptoms of prostate cancer mimic other benign, non-malignant processes. Um, we detect it early by doing screening examinations generally, but the early signs and symptoms that one could have would be uh, erectile dysfunction, frequency of urination, and both those we see as men get older and the prostates get larger. As the cancers grow and, and become more advanced, you might have some blood in the urine, and if it spreads to other parts of the body, you would get bone pain. Those are all the common symptoms that you might have with prostate cancer, but generally it's asymptomatic, meaning no symptoms, and men, men don't even know they have it. Now, because O.J. Simpson, well, because prostate cancer is, is treatable and oftentimes curable, is it safe to assume that maybe he didn't know about it early or did it pro can it progress extremely fast in somebody? Well, that's the assumption is that it was diagnosed at a more later stage because, as you mentioned, when men are diagnosed with prostate cancer at an early stage, which most, most men are because of screening, it's, the cure rate is well north of 95%. But... 95% isn't 100%. So even those men that are caught early, some of them, one in 20, if it's 95%, will have an aggressive cancer that might start to spread quickly. So with OJ, it's all conjecture. He might have been diagnosed early with a very aggressive cancer, or more likely, it was diagnosed at a later stage. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that men can do to help prevent the chances of getting prostate cancer? There's not much you could do to prevent. Mm -hmm. but what you can do is be aware and do early detection and know if you're at risk. So the, er, the ways we do early detection are by doing the PSA test, the blood test, and the digital rectal examination. And men should speak to their physicians about that because we recommend it at different ages based on the man's risk factors. So for instance, if you have no real risk factors, we recommend those screenings after the age of 50 and that being done annually. But if you have a risk factor, such as if you're African American and black men have double the risk of prostate cancer compared to white men, or if you have a father or a brother who's had prostate cancer, we then recommend backing that up five or even 10 years earlier and beginning doing those cancer screenings then. You've been, you've been in the industry for a long time. OJ Simpson you know, took to social media and, and said, you know, hospice no not me or uh, I'm not sick you know he made all these statements and then ended up passing away um, do, do you find that men um, are in denial sometimes or aren't necessarily taking the steps that they should be taking to to protect themselves well the truth is that most men get their prostate examined or get a PSA because their wife or their girlfriend told them to or their mother perhaps but it's the women really who control a lot of the screenings that, are, that men that men do men we're, we're strong and we don't believe it's gonna happen to us uh, but I don't but I don't know with OJ he did say that he was the hospital was out of the question and that's because the treatments we have for prostate cancer generally even in advanced stages are good treatments mm -hmm. There's good treatments, even chemotherapy is good for prostate cancer in advanced stages, and there's hormonal treatments as well. So he probably was given, you know, a lot of a lot of hope. Speaking of treating prostate cancer, is chemotherapy the only treatment? What can people expect when they have to endure treatment? So chemotherapy is very unusual in prostate cancer, and it's only used in those patients that have advanced and metastatic disease. Generally speaking, prostate cancer is caught early, and the treatment is either one of three things. Either active surveillance, if it's of a low-grade, slow-growing tumor, meaning continue following the patient, a surgery to remove the prostate, or radiation treatment, including, pro pro including proton radiation that's focused on the prostate. And those, all three of those give equal long-term survival and equal cure rates. Well, it's interesting because he said he was going through chemo a mm -hmm. year ago. Yeah. So it was that... probably advanced then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And metastatic. Yeah. Wow. Well, we thank you for your insight, and hopefully, folks at home can glean from from uh, you know the, the experience. And it's treatable. Early detection is mm -hmm. the key. Thank Dr. You. Ackerman, thank you. Thank Thanks you. for having me.